a little piece of heaven in here. Okay, we are going to start the show by cooking, and I want to get right to it. It's the Looney Spoon sisters, Janet and Greta Pavleski. Yay. Give them a big hand because they're making ribs. You know what? Father's Day is coming up, and we wanted to sort of do a little bit of an homage to the men in our lives. Um, but hey, I like a rib as much as the next guy. So even if you're not celebrating Father's Day, this is a recipe that you might want to try at home. I bet you it's going to be healthy. It is. Well, you is know that regular ribs that everybody loves have very little meat, lots of bone, yeah. and tons of fat. So we've got a really creative idea to make it healthy. It's a okay. recipe called Stick to Your Ribs which isn't going to actually stick to your ribs, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> ribs can have 100 grams of fat per rack of ribs. Well, often men will order a rack of ribs and then with what? French fries, Yes. right? But That's let's get out do. the barbecue and let's do this for dad so that he doesn't have to do the grilling, okay? okay. It's griller time. And right what I up? like is, is a recipe for Father's Day that doesn't involve turning on an oven because finally the warm weather is here, right? Yes, absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with pork tenderloin instead of a rack of ribs. So people will think, oh, pork tenderloin, that's not so ribs. Let's turn it into ribs. So I okay. have a really big piece of pork tenderloin here. It's one and a quarter pounds. So you're going to look for the biggest piece that you can find. And you have to remember that loin means lean. Yes. So if you're going to have pork, loin is the one you want to choose. Okay. And then I'm just going to pound it with my meat mallet to make it flat so it's going to start to look a lot more like ribs. Just get out Do your meat mallet. Do this after a bad day at work. <laughs> exactly. Get Holy. out your anger, Greta. Yeah. Stupid boyfriend didn't call me back. <laughs> Get it out, Greta. Before. Yeah, just I have do done it. this before. So you're just going to pound it till it's about three quarters of an inch thick. Maybe okay. see that? It just takes nothing to do that. Yeah, easy. Uh, when I couldn't find my meat mallet, I went and got a soft round stone from my garden because of the plastic. <laughs> I used that. Yeah. Like I have a heavy rolling pin. If you don't have a meat mallet, there's several things that you can use. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So I know this doesn't look like ribs yet. But, but we it pounded will. it. And so now we're going to go on an angle about every inch, inch and a half. We're going to score it. But you're not going all the way through. So again, I'm trying to make this look like ribs. I think it's working. We're going to so far so everybody. good. More and more like a rib. Well, when you look at the picture we were looking at um, behind you when you did the intro, they really do look like they ribs. Do you look can like fool ribs. anybody. And what I like about this is it's all meat, no bone, very little fat. So, so the so cut of meat is going to make the biggest difference in right. terms of the fat content. A little leanness. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, definitely. So now um, the best ribs are the ones that involve a spice rub and a sauce when you're grilling. So mm -hmm. we have to make a spice rub. And I think you know we call ourselves the real spice girls because we are <laughs> <laughs> of spices and also they're so healthy for you. Right. So oh, this look is, at this. this our is, colorful spice display This is our here. rib rub, okay? And these are spices I bet you already have. So we're going to start with a little bit of brown sugar because there's yeah. usually sugar in a rub. Okay, paprika, chili powder, ground cumin, seasoned salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper. And with the three yes. hot spices, we're turning up the heat because we're revving up your metabolism with those right. hot spices. So that's a good thing. The other thing also is that people think lean means uh, flavorless. So that's no, right. it's really nice to add both the sauce and the rub in so that's you know right. you're going to get really high flavor because you don't well, have a lot of fat. Right. This is the most important thing to remember about barbecuing. Uh, when you cook the meat at high heat, especially if you char or burn, yeah. you can create some carcinogenic chemicals. You don't have to worry about it though if you use a rub or a sauce that uses oh. rosemary, garlic, or citrus. Scientists really? have proved that those can completely almost eliminate those effects. So it's great to know there's a solution. Mm -hmm. we, we're using a rub and we're using a sauce. And when you cook meats in liquid, like if you were making soups or stews or something in a crock pot or really marinating something, it really reduces all those chemicals. So that's great to know, dads out there who want to barbecue a lot. Mind. Look at Especially me if you really like your my meat pork tenderloin. I know. Oh, yeah. I was watching you. You want the blanket, Janet? Janet? Yeah, Greta, wait, 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 put the blanket over it. Cover I'll just it up. Turn it over, over to the other side. Nobody's okay. looking. Okay, so you're slathering it in the rub. Wrap it up, stick it in the fridge, hopefully overnight. So you can do this right. the day before, okay? So and then really gets a chance to get those flavors in there. That's yes. right. And then this is going on to the grill. So now we have it over here on the grill. I'm just going to turn that up a little bit. So it's going on a hot barbecue. Yeah. And it's by then it's just going to smell so good. You don't even yes. have to do sauce, but of course we're doing sauce. And we made a homemade barbecue sauce here that has all the basics of barbecue sauce, including a sweetener, uh, molasses, which is one of Jan its favorite sweeteners oh. because it's more natural. We're it not is. adding white sugar and here. And two measly tablespoons has the same amount of calcium as a, a glass of milk. You're kidding me. A lot me. of people didn't know that. Right, so we use Who it as our sweetener. Who knew there a good use for molasses? I One of the criticisms of barbecue sauce is that it's loaded with sugar. It's and too, it's, it's true. It's really sweet. But you know, there's a tip that you can do to make your, bar your, your barbecue sauce less um, 
uh, dramatic for your blood sugar levels if you're okay. diabetic. Right, Janet, with the lemon? Yeah, anytime you take a sour food like lemon or grapefruit or lime and you add it to any food before you eat or even on the food, it reduces yeah. the glycemic value of that food by at least 30%. That's a lot. So you mean you make the sauce and then you just squeeze it's, some lemon in? Yeah, so we add lemon and lemon zest to our barbecue sauce. But if you have a store-bought kind, just grate some lemon zest and mm -hmm. some, put you some lemon. I do. When I buy barbecue sauce at the store, I put it in a little bowl, I take half of a lemon and I squeeze all of the juice and then I put all of the zest in it and stir it. Mm -hmm. It makes your barbecue sauce taste so much better and almost makes it taste homemade. And it's going to go through your system slower. That's yes. right. You actually do it that? does. It won't make your blood sugar go crazy because of the lemon. So for instance, if you want to have a sweet treat, like yeah. you're just dying for something, Every day. Have, yeah. have a glass of water with and put lemon in it and drink it right before. It's going to reduce that effect. Oh my gosh. Lemon it ruined my mind function. Right She's now. so excited. <laughs> lemon. I should have done that before I ate like the row of cookies, the yes. sleeve right. of cookies yesterday. Right. Everybody's going to go I'm going to put a whole lemon, lemon squeeze a whole yeah. lemon. Yes. In my mouth. And that's and how I start my day every day with the, with <laughs> lemon so and water. With lemon water or a bag of cookies? Which one? No, not lemon cookies. water. Actually, <laughs> Janet's I one think. of those people that before her big toe hits the ground in the morning, she wants a brownie. She has the morning sweet tooth. I don't have that at all. So. I get it. That's keep why it in she the does. House. I don't keep it. Okay. You get, so this you is a, we also added the herb rosemary. So it's a lemon rosemary barbecue sauce nice. made with molasses, onions, a little bit of ketchup, chili powder. Yes. You can. It's good. This takes about ten minutes to cook. So you're doing about five minutes on each side. You don't want to overcook pork tenderloin because obviously it doesn't have all that fat. Right. So you don't want it to dry out. When this comes off, let it rest for 10 minutes. Slice it into rib-like pieces, yes. and then we've grilled some corn and asparagus. And it's a little bit pretty. later on, we're going to show you some fabulous, healthy salads so that we can add to that. That's lean, something that's green. Excellent. You, that was a good lesson. Give them a big <laughs> hand there. Yes. 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 Y